across the universe. Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Mike Nelson here. Hey, just to bring up to date right now, we're above Earth and it's Roman times. The only thing I can't tell you is why there's a window on the desk. Because it's Friday! All right! It, it is? <laughs> it's Friday at the dorm, Mike! So throw the window open, put the speakers <laughs> in the window, and let's partay! Yeah, I, I can rocks. see this, All a right. rockin' dorm blowout. All right. I'll, I don't see any speakers. Oh, uh, right. Uh, there's no speakers or even a stereo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, the party budget was a little thin, so I was able to buy a great window, but there's no speakers uh, or beer. No beer? Uh, no wine coolers either, Crow. No wine coolers? Grapes. Nope. Nope. So we had a party budget about which I knew nothing, by the way. Oh, you contributed. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> and, and all we got was a window? Well, but 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 it's an Anderson window, Mike. Well, that's as may be. Well, it is. Well, I know it is. Double hung thermal well, barrier. Well, that's great and all. You can all, wash but... it from the inside, Mike. Really? Well, that's a nice feature. Yeah, yeah. You see, you can't throw a party with beer and speakers and a great window for under 3500 bucks, Mike. Okay, great. So we're going to have a big rock and dorm blowout, <laughs> and what we have is exactly a window. Well, you can have a party with a window. Come on, you guys, get into it. <laughs> Energy efficient. All right. Fill up barrier, All right. custom fitted. Okay. Wash it from the inside. Oh, okay. this, this ain't no pepper. Pretty good, Mike. This yes. ain't no Marvin. This ain't no fooling around. We'll be right back. Right. We're we'll partying with our window. <laughs> it's double hung. Woo. Windows. <laughs> Okay, you insist on music and beer, huh? <laughs> well, I called the guy and he'll take the window back, which he would not have to do, but if we repack it just like it came, he will. But he is not happy. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, I've done the budget, and if we really watch expenses, we should be able to have a drunken dorm hoot nanny with your precious beer sometime next year. For the rest of today's blowout, I need you guys to repack the window. Woo! Hey, party Woo! down. Woo! Oh, Woo! the great goddess of Perlo is calling. What's up? Eat the fruit and throw away the rice. So, you're a god. Yep. Yep. Excuse me. Mike, you don't want to be here. They're throwing this welcome gods party and yawn. When in Rome, apparently, you stand around with your thumb up your... Anyway, I really need to figure out how to liven this thing up. Let's see. I know, of course. Hey, everybody, toga party, toga. Well, why, toga. yes, we are all wearing togas. Toga party, toga, toga, and, uh, toga. Praise be to the gods for toga. identifying that we're wearing togas. Yeah, toga party, toga, toga, toga. <laughs> Most omniscient. <laughs> The goddess? She slashed. Oh, that's right. You guys don't know what a toga party is. You idiots wear togas all the time. Brain guy, get over here and save my bacon again. Where'd you get the beer, Mike? Oh, it turns out the Nanites have a microbrewery. Oh, great, so we can have a savage dorm booze binge after all. <laughs> you know, the Nanites would have a microbrewery. Yeah, right. Because they're microscopic. I got it, Mike. Have you seen Crow? Oh, yeah, you know, he's getting into that whole dorm fantasy thing of his, oh, you know? Oh, yeah, you mean drunk, abusive, getting all morose about... Debbie! <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, right, that's it, yeah. Debbie! Debbie, I'm gonna... Oh, please, don't tell me, say it was a lamp! Oh, 
It was probably just a lamp. Debbie, Debbie, oh. I need you, baby. Oh, I can't handle it, Debbie. Debbie, I punched the window in for you, baby. You got to take me back, Debbie. Debbie. He punched it. in my window, oh, Mike. Debbie. He carefully unpacked it, then he punched it in. <laughs> I did it for Debbie. You don't need to drive over no, there. No, no, you stay right here. You give me your keys. So that, oh, what am I saying? Hey, let me go. I'm driving over there, man. No, I don't no, care. No, no, no. Crow, look, you don't live in a dorm, OK? You're not drunk, and you don't even know anyone named Debbie. <laughs> I don't care. Debbie, let me go, man. My window. <laughs> Debbie, I love you, man. Debbie. Pants party. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why, these are remarkable and vastly different from our own apparel. Pants, 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 pants. That's better. Your movie today is pretty bad, I'm afraid, Mike. It's called Devil Doll. Ah, you're right. Oh, Debbie. Debbie, baby. Say, Crow, do you ever consider a fantasy where you're happy and successful? Uh, I like the Debbie one better, Mike. Oh, okay. Debbie! Oh, 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 oh. Mephistopheles goes uptown. Uh, screw tape, take the next left, will you? Yeah, we had a good time this weekend, didn't we? Huh? I must have been really drunk. Well, you were a bitch to my parents yesterday. Ah, yes, England, a land of jug-eared, chinless stomach eaters. Still, they're not French. <laughs> have that going for you. The Red Devil paint mascot is doing all right for himself. Well, I'm not talking till he talks. Goodbye, credits. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> I think we just saw the movie's car chase. I'm driving with my mind. Am I a mod or a rocker? British sport utility vehicle. <laughs> You're the most depressing spot in London, sir, just as you asked. Stopping off for a pint of liver ice cream. <laughs> no, we've arrived at the Knucklehead Smith residence, sir. Well, why is he carrying Al Pacino? Oh, so they couldn't airbrush my zit. Say hello to the nice poster of us. Go on. Sold out? Must have run out of canceled stickers. You know, if not for rock and roll, then Triloquy would have been huge. Mm -hmm. Thank you, halfway houses and geriatric wards. Thrill as he doesn't talk, and I don't move my lips. Just keep clapping, he may not get to his act. Was he at a drive-in? That sucked. Even I didn't believe I was talking. Whoa. Oh. Did anyone see that? Well, we took the pipe again. Stupid Topo Jijo was stepping all over our lines, the bastard. Yeah, hey, uh, excuse me, sugar. Do you know what smoke does to my finish? Well, I'm gonna kennel myself up now. <gasps> Tipper Gore. I think our smile seminar went very well. You'll never win. You always lose. You're Harold Stassen. <laughs> George Stephanopoulos has really sunk low. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Oh, I, I guess otherwise he throws his seeds around on the carpet. <laughs> and you sympathize. You and your ear chandeliers. Well, I guess maybe you might want to sleep. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Federated Incorporated Industries Limited. Modern architecture. 
efficient and duty free. Newsworthy stories around London. I gotta get stuck with a great Varelli. Leave Robert Denby alone. Thanks, <laughs> him. Yeah, well, we'll soon find out. You got that expert on mesmerism all set, that Dr. Uh, Keller? Oh, I spoke to him earlier. He said he'd find his own way to see tonight. He doesn't want to see you. He said he couldn't bear to meet a journalist in the evening. But uh, he'll call by the office tomorrow morning at 10.30 to give you his opinion of Mr. Varelli. Shut up. A bit independent as then. Do you know we're paying him for his services? I don't think he's the least bit interested in the money. Yeah, these retired experts, they don't care about the money, so they tell you. Well, I'll take a letter if you have one in you. Well, make a note so I won't forget to be available for Mr. Heller at 10.30 tomorrow. Make sure he wears his pink tights. And what else? What about the girl who's going to volunteer? Does she like me? <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I forgot to tell you. The one we picked, she won't do it. She's afraid. Afraid of what? She's afraid of already doing things to our minds. Exotic locations. <laughs> we'll get someone else. It'll be difficult on such a long time. Yeah. I'm due for a dimple cleaning. I wonder if Paul and Linda got that pot yet. <laughs> so, how many hours of rotary phones added to movies over the years? <laughs> Speak to Marianne, please. Uh, are you still thinking about whether I can talk to Marianne? Hello. Hello, Marianne? Yes or no? It's a simple question. How are you? Yeah. Marianne, <laughs> how'd you like to go to the theater tonight? Marianne. How y'all doing tonight? Mm. Barbara Bush, Jeremy Irons, and Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to suggest to this man that his life is in danger. Then I'll be right back. That he may die at any moment. Your life is in danger and you may die at any moment. Thank you! <laughs> Look into my eyes. My life's in danger, isn't it? A scotch egg! Oh, no, it's his face. <laughs> you told me that in China, you once saw a man executed in the streets. The Manchurian ventriloquist. I want you to imagine that you are in his place. Yeah, why so negative? <laughs> that you are on your knee. Wouldn't it be more fun to pretend he's a chicken? On your knee. The Vulcan shoulder meld. When does Mr. Lifto come out? <laughs> you will enjoy Dame Edna. You're about to be executed by a soldier who put a single bullet through the back of your head. So you might as well go along with my little act. <laughs> You're alone. You look up and see the faces of the crowd. But I'm alone. In moments, they will move away, leaving you dead on the pavement. When is he going to smash watermelons? Turn and see the soldier standing behind you, his face grim. Gun ready for firing. Should he really call this the wacky fun time review? I don't know. From death. Wait. The sound of the gun and the pain of the bullet crashing into your head. My shorts are really riding up. God's enjoying the show. You wait for the sound of the gun and the pain of the bullet smashing into your head. Great, more. Now you're morally safer. Hey, hey, pay attention. Come on. <laughs> we love your cruelty. Mm -hmm. You and I travel to the beat of a different drum. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I should like another volunteer. Anyone? Oh, blimey, mate, I don't know, I'm just a scattery maid. Perhaps the young lady in the seventh row? Hmm? Anyone at all? If we don't get a volunteer, you're all gonna have to see my can. <laughs> Go on. M Mark, I, I really don't, I don't think so. Come on, you promised. All right. Yeah, these Princess Trust concerts always suck. <laughs> yep. No, 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 I just had to make a phone call. <laughs> You know, if this guy could juggle, he'd rule England. 
don't really need pants to be a volunteer placer, so why overdress? Are you frightened, Miss Horn? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Are you by any chance a professional entertainer? No, no. I didn't think so. Neither am I. You seem like a very shy girl. Oh, well, Miss Horn, do you dance? Everyone does. Ballet? Oh, no. Not since a few lessons as a child. I see. Now, Miss Horn. Just what do you bring to the act? Don't be frightened. <laughs> Just look into my eyes. How many maggots am I gagging? <laughs> Did I leave the iron on? Hmm. Do you see any flesh on my face at all? Am I supposed to feel nauseous? Is that the... Don't just forget it. I'm going home. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us tonight an expert on modern dancing. Would you rather see that? She will dance with Miss Horn, and I guarantee you that she will dance as well as the expert. I guarantee it. Miss Horn, in a few moments you'll be hearing some music. When the music begins, you will become a dancer. But first, Warren Christopher. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby. Yes, she can woo as well as 90% of the women in England. She's dancing worse than I've ever seen her dance. I think I saw bra. I command you to shake that moneymaker. Dancing with a spitting image puppet. <laughs> Next, an expert in combing his hair. This is my father at a wedding over here. <laughs> He's using his incredible powers to make her do a modest twist. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I have any real talents. Guitar stylings of Mel Bay. I've seen Baptists who can dance better than this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make her Mrs. The Great Ferretti. He told me he was an expert in modern dance. Well, back to the concession stand. Hope you get some pants. Bye. Oh, did we take the pipe? <laughs> yep. Here's the pipe. You take it. You are again this Marion Hall. But a magnificent dancer has been lost. A man who's never eaten a vegetable in his life. <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke. Magda, if you please. What happened to you? I thought you could dance. I don't know. Where'd you learn to dance like that? Mark, I don't know. And I'd rather not be sitting on your hand. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I should like to introduce my esteemed collaborator, Hugo. He's handy capable. Now, to look at him, you might think he was just another ordinary ventriloquist dummy. Like me. Indeed he is. But he has unexpected talent. He can sit endlessly for hours. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> well, Hugo, what are you going to do to amuse the audience tonight? Anything you say, my dear Varelli. <laughs> Except that kind of thing. Why, what do you mean by that? Simply that you are laughing while I am talking. Ooh. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, it's an old ventriloquist trick. They're all doing it now. It's corny. Perhaps we can show the audience a variation on the theme. Minwax, Hugo? Give me some wine. I want some wine. A dummy? Drinking wine. Spody Odie? Don't be ridiculous. I want some. <laughs> Give it to me. I know what wine is. I've had wine before. I want some wine. Why shouldn't I have some wine? All I want is my fair share. All I want is what's coming to me. <laughs> you are a dummy. The Puppet Haters Club will be right back.
Well, is this the worst show we've ever seen? Oh, oh yes, definitely. Worst. It is wonderful, darling. Ah, was that so corny? Listen to the audience applaud. Come on, we're supposed to applaud again. They're not applauding you. They're applauding me. Yes, me. Hugo, the dummy. Right, people? Right? Huh? Me? Well, if it's for you, you must go and thank the audience, mustn't you? I'll send a card. Go to the footlights and thank them. You are looking live at the footlights. You must obey me. Hugo's in the terrible twos. Mm -hmm. Hugo, walk to the footlights. Like an Egyptian. Thank them. I think we should talk about our relationship. Just keep smiling. Don't let it hurt you. <gasps> eh, he's dying out there. I'll go and flash a cheek. <laughs> Deep plane. Deep plane. Thank you. You like me. You really like me. Well, he carries his sawdust right in his hips. And your must. Turned your mustard. What, what does he mean by that? Climb up on Daddy. Are you wet? Would have gone better if he'd shown his butt. Puppet. Hate him. Hugo, 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 Hugo. Butt lady, butt lady, butt lady. Butt lady. Butt lady. <laughs> and you wanted to see Dylan at Albert Hall. To start the car, Ed. Yeah, Varelli, I think we should do Greater Tuna together. Thanks. Uh, could I get a cuddle bone? He's getting so big. Do you know who that girl was? The one you were seducing mentally. Miss <laughs> Horn. Miss Marion Horn. One of the richest girls in all England. Her aunt is giving a charity ball Saturday night. I think I'll just ring up and offer my talent for charity. I'll offer to park cars for charity. Ooh, I should get my extra ear flap removed. Yeah. Can I sit up there with you? What did you say? Hmm? Nothing. What? Oh, I, I thought I heard you call my name. <laughs> you must be hearing things. Snap out of it, you fruitcake. You know, I gotta hand it to that Varelli. His act's certainly different. Than a good act. Dumb is <laughs> yeah. fascinating. So is his puppet. He frightens me. He really does seem to have some unusual power. He should use it in the act. Yeah, for once head office came up with a good idea in this Varelli. I still think he's a phony, but he's a damn good one. Man, I'm sitting on a tire iron here. Oh. Oh, please, little fart, stay inside my dress. I'd certainly like to get a chance to examine that dummy. So if you could look away for a minute. Uh, there, oh, there, you can help me. Oh, can I now? Mm -hmm. That's just what you think. Oh, I've had enough, thank you. Oh, come on, please. Love me now. What can I do? Well, as your aunt is holding her annual charity ball, all you got to do is go and see the great Borelli and invite him to come. That is exactly what you would say. I know he will. I saw the way he eyed you when you walked up on that stage. It was great. Besides, your aunt would love it, you know it. Give me a chance to get a good close look at that doll. <laughs> Slowly open the door, then run! You will invite him to stay the night. <laughs> the other way I can get a chance to examine. See your point? They are great bargains. And the more devil dolls you buy, the greater your savings. <laughs> well, that's true, isn't it? Hey, Crow, what's up? Uh, hey, Mike, just making a deal with this devil. Okay, well, I'm just uh, putting up some preserves. So All right. You need me. And so, if you sign up for our special offer, you get free doll accessories like this wonderful. Crow, are, are you insane? This is the devil. Well, well I'm, I'm a devil, not, not the devil. Name's Pitch. I just go get thee behind me. Hey, relax, pal. Just trying to make an honest living here. Yeah, Mike. Crow, how could you make a deal with the devil? How could I not, Mike? With prices like these? That's very funny. Don't you smell the evil? I smell a great bargain. Okay, now. 
Now, Mike, please, as a personal favor to me, please take a look at this beautiful doll. And look at these beautiful prices. Plus a 10% discount on any future dolls if you sign a small agreement with uh -huh. us. Let me just say at this point that none other than Ms. Demi Moore herself collects dolls and has found this agreement to be very much to her advantage. See she that? and Bruce have been friends of our organization for some time really? now. Well, what am I thinking? Get thee gone, foul demon. Get thee gone, evil sermon of the man goat. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. Have you no manners at all? <sighs> Look, I can tell where I'm not wanted. Here's my card. Give oh. me a call sometime when Max von Sydow here isn't around. Ah, oh, gee. You know, you know, nice going, Mike. Thanks. What? I just saved your immortal soul. But I could have saved a lot more in my doll budget. It. Ah, forget it. I gotta go meet Marilyn Manson for lunch. See? What? What? It's, it's lunch. It's not like I'm gonna marry the guy. I mean, gee, we'll be right yeah. back. Even one lunch. Baby. I mean, the guy, you know, Satan and everything. All well, the press clippings on Varelli, no one's ever like near that doll. <laughs> Will anyone see it or touch it unless he's using it? How about it? Help me inspect the dummy. Well. <laughs> You know he's very attractive. I might just be attracted to him. Mm. Well, I'll take that chance. How about it? All right. Things I do for you. No, 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 I don't mean that. I won't do that for you. No, no, yuck, icky! Wow. Wait, oh, watch for the lever. The, the, uh, no, that the, ship the treadle is right in my oh, back. Oh, 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 that's oh, the, oh, the, oh, the upholstery. Meanwhile, let's stifle Joyco. Yeah, he's too good. Danby. That Pirelli is just too good. He must have some kind of gimmick. It's the work of a highly trained hypnotist. Mm -hmm. The art of hypnosis has advanced a great deal since the days of Mesmer. How do you account for that dummy walking? Well, I think if you were to examine the dummy, mm -hmm. you would find it a bag of mechanical tricks. Yeah, the tension between Varelli and that dummy. It was there. Everybody felt it. Mass hypnosis, Mr. English. It's as real as individual hypnosis. What we saw was a, a dramatical production. I'm telling you, dramatical. a succession of theatrical tricks. Well, that scene's going nowhere. Let's try a new one. <laughs> She's already had a torrid affair with Jerry Mahoney. Man, you really had to make a commitment to read posters in those days, huh? <laughs> Debbie Harry in Better Days. Oh, and I suppose you wear pants. You may go in now. Thank you. And I said to my parents, Is that all there is? Roy Clark, cross-dresser. I'm very pleased that we meet again, Miss Hall. Oh, I didn't even know if you'd remember me. No. And no, I did not forget you. Um, would you mind forgetting me? Thank you. But I, I came to ask you for a favor. To come to your aunt's charity ball. Yes, but how did you guess? Very prosaic, I'm afraid. I uh, read in the newspaper that your aunt was giving her charity ball. I'm afraid you're right. Long article, most of the front section. Why does your assistant not wear pants? Will you join me? What is it? A why? Mano Manashevich. Sicily. Rather sweet, but very good at this hour. I always have it. It's called Sangue della Virgine. Blood of the Virgin. But I call it giggle juice. Smell it. That's a lovely bouquet. Well, this is actually Blood of the Virgin wine spritzer. <laughs> rather early for a drink. Oh, but this is an occasion to the charity ball. Look, you're doing a puppet act at a party. Relax. You mean you will come? If you want me. Oh, indeed we do. This is marvelous. I really didn't expect that I could walk in here and, and you'd accept the invitation just like that. Because the skating monkey canceled. Oh. We needed something. But you do know it's for charity. Your fee... Will be nothing. Just a bag of puppet chow. <gasps> My aunt will be so pleased. I don't know how to thank you. I should be delighted. Oh, but you, you haven't finished your drink. Drink the blood of the virgin! Or am I coming on a little creepy? Sorry. It's rather sweet. Oh, sorry, I gave you the surge. Look into it. Virtually spotless. So deep and rich. Chocolate. And red and warm. Ooh, there's a bug deep, in it. Rich. Red. Hints of blackberry. Warm. 
Uh, you know what? Uh, my aunt just called and the ball's off. <laughs> uh, you will come, then? If you want to. Oh, Saturday, then. Um, after your performance here, we'll send a car. Hey, <laughs> look, Rudy Valley is the waiter. <laughs> I'm just a vagabond lover. <laughs> Need me a tap water from the basement sink, ma'am? Come back in 15 seconds. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Raul. <laughs> me and Raul, we're buddies. <laughs> Aunt Eva, this is your fourth drink. No, dear, my fifth. Oh, you delightful boozed up old broad. <laughs> the other day I said the word damn. <laughs> Stay right there, someone will scoop you up. Enjoying yourself, darling? You're looking lovely. Thank you. You're not, really. Mark. Hi. Hello. Mark, you're absolutely marked. You're doing everything beautifully. You know, we've never had enough publicity. Hmm? Now remember, you can't just see Oh, no. I forgot the cheese tray. She adores it. Don't worry, I will. Don't worry. Yeah, I must go and talk to that dreadful Lady Hampton. No, if not for alcohol, there'd be no moisture in that woman at all. <laughs> Fever for the flavor of Pringles. Actual footage. Hey. Hmm? Oh, something. Daydreaming, I suppose. About this great are you being served I saw no. last night. I don't like it. No, your aunt loves it. Hmm, she doesn't know what you're really here for. Yeah, as long as I get the Raleigh story, what does it matter? I don't know. I wish I'd never seen him. Well, then I let the damn Tosca have it with my weather beam. No. Oh, Mark, when do I introduce Mr. Borelli? Right before he goes on. <laughs> what time now? Oh, dear. Check it out. Her hair acts like a smokeless ashtray. <laughs> Come on, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a great surprise for you tonight. My strip show. Now, will everybody at the back please come forward? Into the hot tub. Thank you. And then I'd like you to form a semicircle. <laughs> Five hours later. I have much pleasure in presenting the great Borelli and Hugo. It's a dowager convention. <laughs> well, Hugo, I think you should sing a song for the audience. No, mm. I am tired. Well, you're in a surly mood. I'm going to leave you alone. And when you're ready to perform, fine. Hugo's got a John Agar smile. Yes. <laughs> Duh. Pasty, pasty, beefy, pasty. In the meantime, if you'll excuse me, I would like something to eat. I've just come from the theater and I haven't had time. I think I'll have a vodka sandwich. Oh, ham. I love it. <laughs> you cannibal. Well, what would you have to eat, Hugo, to make you a cannibal? Sort of. <laughs> Don't I get anything to eat? I'm hungry. Whoever heard of a ventriloquist dummy eating? My cousin knew a guy. I can eat. I can eat like you can. <laughs> you are not the only one who likes to eat. Don't be ridiculous. I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Now. You surely don't expect me to wait on you. <laughs> Hugo's doing a Jack Benny take. <laughs> no, but I do want to eat. Very well, then. Eat my shorts. Get up and get it yourself. Sorry, Ham. And, uh, help me out here. Is it me, or...? I'm pregnant. Okay, everybody thrill as I get my own onion dip, okay? <laughs> You think he likes ham. Wait till you see me like ham. <laughs> you loogied on the salad. Don't drink too much, Hugo. It might make the sawdust in your stomach swell. But I took a Zantac. You're a dummy, Hugo. A common puppet. Though your heart is breaking. Hugo, put down the knife. Yeah, I'll put it down on your thigh. How about that? I said, 
put it down. Look familiar, Mike? <laughs> it may soon. <laughs> you know, you frightened the ladies. Tell them you're sorry. Look, Varelli, jump up my wooden butt. I am sorry. You're all so ugly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. And me. Yeah, what's up, Ron? Uh, oh, I mean the great Varelli. I need changing. Yes, say it. I am sorry. Master. Hey, look, I don't even want the damn sandwich anymore, all right? <laughs> Master. So is Actus to get up and bicker with his dog. <laughs> the Margaret Dumont Society expresses its appreciation. And another six dollars is raised for charity. He went upstairs ten minutes ago. He should be back by now. When it does come down, I'm going up. Got to have a look at that dummy. Fred Sanford's son? Just dummy. Is it possible? Hey, dummy. Must have someone inside it. Not a small man or a boy. That's the only explanation. Other than that, it's mechanical. Darling, it's absolutely thrilling, perfectly marvelous. Una meraviglia. Have you ever seen anything so marvelous, Mother? No, never. Oh, excuse me. Right. It would appear I'm at a major booty call. Mr. Borelli, you were magnificent. Thank you. Come on, Carlino. You're Bambolo Uncle. Come on, Carlino. It's Mike like an Altman film. <laughs> I think I should like a drink. Would you care to join me? Thank you. Come on, it's much more depressing over here. What a wonderful performance. Yes, I've had him too. I tell you, you only rent ham. <laughs> oh, no. This is the lowest doorknob I've ever seen. <laughs> so she won't let me play with her new Hot Wheels, huh? You know, this guy's lucky. Hugo rarely gives interviews. That's not my call girl already, is it? Bless me, puppet, for I have sinned. What do you, what, oh, oh, fine, but I have a bad cold. What a complexion. Let me guess, you use Murphy's oil soap, right? Ooh, hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, what, Varelli, Varelli! <laughs> Ow! Weird, he's got marshmallow filling. And when I call, you will come. He's talking to his poodle. <laughs> Wherever you are, you will come. Ruff, ruff. But until I call, you will be yourself. An ugly pup out there, I go again. Your usual charming mm -hmm. self. I must leave you now, my dear. I'm playing some kid's birthday party. Gute Nacht. Hmm? Schöne kleine Maria. Ah, German, the language of love. Your holiness. I'm going to stop at the store on the way home tonight. Do we need milk? I just have so much fun with him. He knows how to make me laugh. Take the ribbon from my hair. Even if a client brings in his vent figure, we'll have a suit to fit him. I guarantee it. Park a Humvee in his chin dimple. <laughs> Don't even tell me you'll call. I know you won't. Did I just see someone walk in and paw my puppet? <laughs> Maybe it should be chicken drummies instead of ham. Maybe that would sell the bit better. 
much, whether it's funny or I don't know. Hmm, look, she has Hasidic wallpaper. <laughs> oh, and look, she has her bedtime false eyelashes on. Wow. <gasps> I pay too much for my muffler. Well, if I hit the snooze button again, I'll be late. Better get up. Ah, uh, Varelli, our room share event. Could you cut out the whispering? Uh, does she have four breasts? That's what I'm counting. One, two, three, four. Oh, how many ventriloquy shows before I finally just say enough? <laughs> Mike, you think if I went away and painted the entire satellite and then came back that I'd miss anything? Or? I can't see that that would be enough. I want a drink of water. Well, sounds like the aliens still haven't gotten in touch with Jodie Foster. Boom. Marianne, what a surprise. How are you? Uh, hi, sorry. I just want to know if I could borrow some contact lens solution. Um, um, I should warn you, the name Great Varelli doesn't necessarily mean what you think it might. <laughs> Come by my hand. I've obeyed me. Hmm? You do not know you're here. Tomorrow, you will remember nothing. I will remember nothing. You know, this paints a fairly accurate picture of most ventriloquists, I'd say. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks. I really wanted to know what kind of soup you had for dinner. Oh, very beautiful, my Marianne. Thanks. You must learn to respond. Are you afraid of me? No. Really? And why do you resist me? You're not strong enough. My thoughts have already penetrated your mind. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Hey, mm. Look, there's no God. There's the proof. Not a yep. single God. Yep, right all there. goodness in the world just died. How about that? It's gone. Oh, she really likes me, really. I'm sure I hypnotized her a little to prime the pump, but I can tell she really likes me. Well, Grandpa's doing wind sprints again. <laughs> he must have had a mini donut surgically implanted in his chin. You know, Kubrick saw the scene and said, We found our Haywood Floyd. Oh, didn't I go home with a vent figure last night? Oh. Yeah, I thought I'd come over and paw you for a while. Uh, nightmare, Hugo? Okay, jump in. Help me. Find. In Berlin, 1948. Find me. In Berlin. Hugo. Do you know what time it is? Because it's please wait till morning. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't smoke while wearing my nicotine patch. Nah. That cartoon camel was right. These are cool. Hmm. Wonder why I had that close up just a minute ago. I think I liked it better though. Yeah, definitely go back for the close up. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in the room. What's then? Oh, oh, hello there, Mike, me boy. Well, we're going and set up a bit of a pub now, then, didn't we? Well, have one of our artist stout ales. <laughs> and traditional British cuisine. Right. Wow, this is great. You know, there's nothing I like better than a British pub and a, and a good, hearty stout ale. Don't mind if I do, chap. <laughs> All right, then. Very good. Uh, all right then. Right. <laughs> Certainly got a lot of body, doesn't it? <laughs> Tip the glass there, Mike. What are you doing? Right. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ah, there we go. Then it'll right, be right, right along for you, chap. You're right. All right. Uh, now all the same then. Uh, right, very good. A game of snookers while we wait. Ready for road of the thirty? What is? And we can have some of our spotted chicken chips. Right. All right no. then. Really, I just uh, just swung in for a quick beer. Well, well then. That's very nice. Uh, uh, do you want a slice of my beer while we wait, Mike? Or 
No, really, this okay. can't be much longer, right? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's true. I know what let's do. Let's overthrow the royals whilst we wait. Yeah, very good. Let's go then. I don't know how we do that, really. Have I some boiled mutton and blood pudding and whipped mad cow? Yes, yes, that's right. No, just the beer. Just the beer. All right then, chap, you've had quite enough. I'm afraid we can't serve you no more. Right. What? You mean at all? Oh, I didn't get my lip then off with you. I'll call the bobbies. Get down with it then. British Disgusting. bully. Can't have his lot sitting around here all day. No, Give the lot of us a bad name indeed. Right. Rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, there's a spot movie sign. All right, Off then. we go then. Let's go see that. All right then, mate. <laughs> Cheerio. Right, mate. Right. Right. And how was your evening? Was it cracking good? That dummy talked to me last night. He came to my room. He came to your room, the dummy? That's right. Fred Sanford's son? And what did he say to you, Mark? Dummy. I know, this is gonna sound crazy, but he asked for help. And some ham. <laughs> he mentioned Berlin, Berlin, 1948. Uh-huh, where are the staples? When did you start having these nightmares, Mark? Talk to these all of us. It was no nightmare. I saw and heard that dummy. It's as real as... That face on Mars. I'll be serious. And I am. Hello, Nutburger's office. Hello? That's you, Mark. Hi, it's Hugo. You want to catch some lunch, pal? Hello. Oh, hello, Mark. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Marianne is not feeling so well. <laughs> the whole house is in a shambles after last night. In a bloody mess. I was wondering... <laughs> I hoped you might come out here. Give me a pat on the head. What's happened? Or is well, you know, Mark, the charity ball, the preparations, the excitement, well, <laughs> she's upset. Why is it upset the anyone? Was well, she all right? Well, Dr. Keisling, our family yeah, doctor's go... here. Yeah, but... He'd like to have a word with you. It's about time, phone hog. Hello? <laughs> Mr. English? Yes, Doctor? Uh, there's nothing to be alarmed about, Mr. English, but I think it would be best if you were to see Marianne. Oh, what's wrong? Hmm? Oh, nothing serious, but uh, I just think that you should be here. Man, I just started a cigarette. Two hours. Very well. I shall look forward to meeting you. Goodbye. Uh, did he say anything about going to a movie later? I'm gonna get caller ID. <laughs> yes, Miss Havisham just moved out. I'm very glad that you were able to come so quickly. What? Did he just toot? <laughs> mm, this is going to be the baby's room. Martin Scorsese is Mr. French in The Exorcist. Oh, Marianne, darling, please say you'll be all right if I have a smoke in here. You got one on you? Yes. Yes. And my favorite band is yes. yes. She seems to be in a state of semi-coma with overtones of delirium. The fruity insouciance and a hint of blackberry that I rather like. Make him stop now. Oh, yeah. Darling. And I've also contacted Buffy and Jody. Uh. She needs a squeegee. Make him stop now. You can't make him stop. Darling, what is it? The big bearded man keeps looking at me. <laughs> He's calling me. Ooh, Bart Simpson, he keeps calling me. Make it rest. Perhaps if she sleeps, the fever will drop. Ooh, that feta salad, P.U. Ooh. Well, you did a lot of good. Thanks for coming in. Wow. Well, it couldn't possibly be that super creepy hypnotist that you just met yesterday. Man, I'm glad I found out how high maintenance she is before I married her. <laughs> Very strange case. That dimple on your chin? Oh, no, thank you. I was hoping your 
visit would have hoped. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you've been hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Beg your pardon. Borelli. Mm -hmm. well, I can't mm -hmm. understand. I'm sorry, Doctor. She's been put in a trance by a professional hypnotist, a man mm -hmm. called Borelli. The great Borelli. Mr. Hinkley, in this day and age? But how? For what reason? Why? Oh, you said yourself you could not the very words were a strange case. Right. You still have to make the tests. Possibly some unknown virus. Do you know Dr. Heller, the expert on hypnosis and mesmerism? Do you like him? <laughs> I once attended one of his lectures at the university. Very interesting theory. If you like crap. I'd like him to see Marianne. Well, of course, if you feel it would help, I've got no objection. But in the meanwhile, we'll carry on the tests. Thank you, Doctor. Ever think I'm mowing your eyebrows? You don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Well, let us say that I will keep what you Americans call an open mind. In other words, cuckoo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ron Liebman for Grecian Formula Beard and Mustache. I just found out that my behind has been hanging out for the last nine years. <laughs> You, uh, you wanted to see me? It was a fine exhibition you put on out there tonight. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling well. You always succeeded in ruining my entire performance. But I couldn't help it. I'm not perfect. Perhaps the work is becoming too hard for you, my dear. Mm -hmm. You're not as young as you used to be. No, not as young as that little bitch who shakes the hips at you. <gasps> oh, that's wow. all nonsense. Strong. You went to a house. Did you have this stupid girl thinks she's in love with you now. You've always been a fool. Well, you nice. did start with her all night, didn't you? Did you succeed? Mr. Limpy. Tell me. Did she respond? Stop worrying. You worry about nothing. You told me it was just her money, but you won't fool me again. Oh, I know that. Look in your eyes. Money is very important. Look, I was with you when you had nothing, when I gave you money to eat. You've had it back with interest. Now, if you don't mind, I'm changing the oil in my hair. Oh, if you think that you can just throw me away like that, well, you're wrong. You imagine things, my dear. You must relax, be calm, be quiet. Oh, I know all about you. <laughs> and if you think what that you can get rid of me, hell? just try. Because then I'll go and see your precious <laughs> little Marion yeah. Vaughan and tell her a few <laughs> things. Maybe even better. The police. Even better, I'll tell Liz Smith that you wear a false beard. <laughs> okay, draw. <laughs> Put your beard on and let's get out there. <laughs> and what will you tell her? That I love you? Oh, don't give me that. You're a foolish girl. We're both upset. I've told you many times that I loved you. Blech. You say it. And how many times have I had my arms around you? Um, once. And now you're getting tired of it. You're a woman. And very, very beautiful. Didn't know Hugo, but... Come. I think you need a little rest. No, I can't. I... I have some work to do. I have to small in my butt cover. Go away. Come. Let's play Magic the Gathering. I see a bad moon rising. <laughs> yeah. Alice, baby, you're the greatest. Oh, please, pull my drape closed, please. Wow, the guy's got an upper back fetish. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, your, your beard is coming off in my mouth. Wait, wait. After years of waiting, you're gonna see the remaining 10% of my butt. So, does this qualify as getting lucky for either of them? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, I love those kids. Whoa, oh, look out! Scatter! Oh, hit the deck! Mm. Mm, sorry you couldn't perform, Varelli. Yep, pretty frustrating, eh? Like pushing a rope uphill, huh, pal? Yep. Especially when you start out with your disadvantage. I mean, I mean, I've got better equipment and, and I'm smooth. <laughs> Sorry. Hugo. She said you were ugly. Ah, here we go again. 
Well, I better go. She just wanted me to tell you you were ugly. <laughs> now, you know what? Why don't I write that down to help you remember? Uh, okay, you're ugly. Oh. Ah, life is good. I finally gonna do my fingernails. Great. So she just said ugly, flat out <laughs> ugly, huh? <laughs> Hugo, were you shaving your legs with this again? Mm, I accept your mumbly peg challenge, Varelli. Give me five dollars or I'll kill my index finger. <sighs> well, are you done yet? <laughs> I call it Still Life with Shelley Winters. Yeah, she's having a wonderful dream of owning her very own set of pants. <laughs> oh, Varelli soiled laundry, thank you. Thanks, movie. No one has ever escaped from the pet carrier. <sighs> you know, the worst thing is he won't buy me a Game Boy. You know, she's sleeping with Varelli, Edgar Bergen, and Sam Giancana. Wow. Oh, time hiccup. My God. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, can we start this scene over? I don't think you can see my face and, uh, oh, never mind. Dead puppet walking. He looks like Alfalfa E. Newman. Sleep. Hey, honey, have you seen the varnish? Mortimer snurred in fatal attraction. Huh? What? What the hell is that? What, what is what, what the China for? So, so what's Varelli's alibi gonna be? The puppet did it? <laughs> oh, he's such a big boy, he can use the bathroom all by himself now. Anyone want a paper? I have papers if you I probably don't want one. And somewhere, a man goes to a job. Pretty much. And his smoking day begins. Good morning, Mr. English. We finally got through to Mr. Stanton. Never office. mind that. Get me Bob Garrett on the phone in Berlin. Elusive Mr. Garrett. Surprise Hotel. If I know him, that's where he'll be. Hey, Mark. <laughs> What's with the Dawn Patrol? Say, how's the action in England? That is a meat-based face. What action are you talking about? Mindy Broad, oh, man. Mindy Broad. Oh, nice. What else? Now, never mind that. I got a job for you. A what? Look, man, I'm sweating my guts out here. Oh, I'm at the typewriter right now, working like hell on the Berlin Wall article. Oh, Peggy Can Fleming, no. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Honey, let me have the patent pencil. Honey? Thank you, woman who would never touch me in real life. Thanks. Okay, Mark, fill me in, fill me in. A magician, a hypnotist. By the name of the great Varelli. He used to work in Berlin. I want you to find out everything. Repeat everything available on him. I want you to go way back, as far back as 1947. I want to know who he is, where he came from, and who he worked with. Ooh. Check the police files, the hospitals, the birth records, and the theater. You got that? Slow down, Mark boy. Slow down. How do you spell that? V O R E double L I. Varelli. Okay. Now get your tail out of bed and get to work. We'll call. We'll call. Stay cool and all that jazz, boy. Hey, how did you know I was in bed? It figures, boy, it figures. Call me the moment you get something, okay? So long, Bobby. Okay, you. <laughs> Is the slumber party over, Hank? Or... Raleigh's assistant was found dead. Listen mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. Miss Cardenas was last seen alive by Carlos Santi, the stage mm -hmm. dresser at 745 last night. Mm -hmm. He returned to awaken her for the evening performance at 810, mm -hmm. he found her dead. Uh -huh. Mr. Jack Walton, the manager of the theater, mm -hmm. stated that Mr. Varelli was in his office. Really? He was talking with British customs officials concerning passport and clearance papers mm -hmm. for a pending trip to Spain. Oh, I know. The customs official have verified Mr. Walton's statement. Oh. They were interrupted by shouts from Carlos Santi, who had just found the body. No. Now, here's the Listen. Mm -hmm. Mr. Borelli said, quote, mm -hmm. 
The poor girl had not an enemy in the world, the most yeah. shocking crime. Oh. I hope the police will persevere, find the murderer, and see that justice is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will miss her very much indeed. Well, can I get off early? The great Borelli with an airtight alibi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I think? I don't care. I think he killed her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somehow he killed her. I'm out of liquid paper. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Bob Garrett digs up in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Later on the set of Dark Shadows. So you never liked the way I kiss? No, no, not a bit. Still at all chin up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah, why am I not smoking right now? Mm -hmm. ah, whoa! Ah, ooh, man, ooh. <laughs> yeah, nothing we've done so far has helped. The new drug from America seems to have a tranquilizing effect. That is something. Mr. Varelli called again today. He seemed very concerned about Marianne. Papers yes, he calls regularly. Very nice chap. Doctor, I think you should come up and see Miss Horn. She's still delirious. I was afraid of that. Oh, like it's my fault. She needs a poultice, and I'll balance her humors, and she'll be fine. Uh, nurse, I died yesterday. Do you have any advice? We're here to comfort you. <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. Jeez. Another injection, nurse. One half cc. Um, of what? She's in Pond Far. Oh, first, a little tiny sponge bath. There. Sure, I get it already. You inject it. I make $2 an hour and you make a kajillion dollars. <laughs> this is the famous scene where they improvise all the dialogue. Oh, oh, oh. Why is he injecting applesauce into her? Well, bathroom's open if anyone needs it. Is she dead yet? Oh. Phone call for you, Mark. Your office. How is she? God, I don't know. What the God? What are you asking me? God, God, I hate you. I really deserve that. Yeah, it really helps her a whole lot when old guys come in and look at her. Hello, Louisa. Yeah, what is it? Cigarette shipment? How many pallets? <laughs> He's onto something. What does that mean? Cram it where? <laughs> is that all he told you? Oh, God, I didn't need to hear that part of it. <laughs> Louisa, get me a ticket on the next plane to Berlin. Call Garrett and have him meet me at the airport. Have him reserve me a room with the Hilton. Uh, no, a non-smoking room. No, I don't know how long <laughs> I'll be there. John Grisham fan? Hey, a Julie Kavner doll. <laughs> I'll bet somebody sent me a birthday clown. Hi, this okay for a funeral? Rhea Perlman. Oh, Grace. That's what I'm not living in a state of. <laughs> Grace, you look very pretty. We now switch live to Lear Cam. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm here too. You think you know the routine well enough? Yeah, I come in and show my butt. Yes, sir. Poor Max. I shall miss her in many ways. Uh, you will go on in her place tonight. In many ways. Uh, you may go now, Grace. I shall try not to disappoint you, Mr. Varelli. I'm sure you won't, my dear. I gotta go. I'm a welder by day. Ah, the puppet cashes in his frequent flyer miles. And Northwest stops to pick up more surly flight attendants. <laughs> you know, before they had bathrooms on planes, they used to have to stop anytime anyone wanted to go. Wow. Really? This is your captain. Just to be safe, we're going to take the freeway the rest of the flight. 
think Heil. Oh, oh, wait, that's over. I think it's over. Just about 20 minutes to my place. I'm sure the audience won't mind coming along. Well, where do we start? Relax, Ma. Uh, Relax. I'll uh, tell you all about it. In 1947, Borelli was just breaking into vaudeville. But before that, he was a doctor. A doctor? The way I get it, after he got his degree, he refused to practice. He became a fanatic on the mysteries of the East, even went out there to study. Where? Egypt, India, Burma. And we suspect an entire year with the Lamas in Tibet, always studying the same thing. Bowling. Hypnosis? No, not exactly. It's more like he believed that you could separate man from his soul. It's really hard to pin down, Mark. What about the vaudeville act? In December 47, he was kicked out of the medical society. I haven't had roast. a chance to check up on the reasons yet, but anyway, he was kicked out. The next anybody saw of him is when he showed up in vaudeville. He had this act with a boy and girl, hypnotism and all that jazz. He put them under and they do things. One of the tricks Varelli did was to stick a dagger into the boy. Through a friend of mine, I've been able to locate the woman. That's where I'm taking you now. <laughs> the rare happy German. I think you might be from the American police looking for something. And we are not from the police. We're here for a gamers convention. <laughs> what is it, then, you want? I want to know what happened in 1948, when you worked with him. It was an accident, wasn't there? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. He whacked them, yes. And they would not listen to me. Your partner, a boy, part of the act? Oh, yes. Hugo. We called him Steve. Hugo? Tell us about it. It would be better to. Yeah. God for hell is thought, hmm? Want to hit a beer garden? This is going nowhere. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was younger. The thrill of war was still all around. We were really hired Hugo Novick and me. We had an act. Hugo and I. Mm. Dancers. Bunch of we brown children. little money, but we were happy. Mm -hmm. Vorelli said we would make more. Okay. Let's go on. D did I stop? Uh, Vorelli would hypnotize us. Yes, go on. Make us do things. Yes, go on. But off stage. Go on. We were ourselves. Yes, go on. But then... Go on. You could change. Go on. Vorelli became his master. Mm -hmm. Then... He got the dummy. Like this one, I just had dry cleaned. Oh, whoa, thank you. Uh, it was a three-week trip. You might want to clean out the bottom of this thing. <laughs> so is anyone going to offer me some ham? <laughs> he joined the Time Life Dummy of the Month oh, Club. Oh, it looks like Hugo. Mm, no, not really. Yes, it could resemble me. But it doesn't. <laughs> Get your hand off my butt. It will be. It will be. Does this bug you? Not touching you. <laughs> oh, trails, man. <laughs> uh, Steve, would you lighten up for even just ten minutes? I'm going to sit here all night until one of you reads my palm. <laughs> Smell my hand. Yeah, we were just talking. We were talking. Get out. Just had the dummies. Don't come back until I call for you. Sounds like a good idea. Wow, neat all. So, how long does this usually take? 
Uh, it depends on the resistance he gets from your higher self, the, the quality of your eternal spirit, that kind of thing. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! There we go! Hey, cool. <laughs> Servo, your soul was remarkably easy to transfer. Was it? Hey, thanks, Pitch. I think I'm going to enjoy this new skill. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. one of many perks of being one of our valued customers. That's great. <laughs> hey, Crow, what's up? Uh, hey, Mike, just toying with Servo's eternal soul. Pitch is showing me how. Okay, well, I'm just trying some fruit if you need me. Okay. So now, can he transfer my soul into anything? Sure. That would Crow. Mm. What? You called the devil back? Hey, devil, Mr. Nervous Nelly. Yes. And now you're tinkering with Servo's soul? Hi. It's fun, Mike. You want to try it? Come on. No. Come on. Could you transfer my soul into a toaster strudel? Sure. <laughs> you know, Crow, I think you're in league with the kingdom of darkness. What? Because I do a little measly soul transference. Come on, make me a toaster strudel. That'd be cool. Come on. You've been making those pentagrams and salt in your room? What? What? Really? And now you call this guy back and you're tinkering with souls and stuff. I mean... Mike, if I could just toss in here for No, just you a can't second. say anything. You get out. Da. Go, go on, go on. Mike, Mike, pitch, pitch, I'm sorry, I'll call you. I guess I'll have to do it myself then. Okay. Wow. You know, okay, putting aside the whole thing of, you know, devils and right. darkness and all that, putting that aside, why even do soul transference? It would be obvious just to become more powerful in the service of the master so that I may deliver more souls unto his dark realm. But now you, what? Now what? see, that's not good. You know, I can't listen to your silly paranoia all day, Mike. I have to go pick up a goat carcass, okay? What? What? I mean, I just can't do anything right with you. That's a little dark. Wait. Ching, ta-da! Hey, get me. I'm Cinnamon Apple Swirl. <laughs> Hello? Hey, come on. Bite me. I'm a toaster strudel. <laughs> but caution, my filling may be hot. <laughs> Hello? Well, we'll be right back. Hello? Hello? <laughs> You will not believe me. It's very really weird to be like this. I, I, I saw. Hi, Arthur Treat here. I forget. One night, I come into the dressing room. And put a whoopee cushion under my seat. It is a dress rehearsal. Oh, servo. I don't know. <laughs> like yeah, okay. taking the soul of Hugo. And put it right in the crapper. <laughs> giving it to the dummy. The Domi? Domi? I tell you, Domi. I saw. Domi. I believe you, Mercedes. And you are the mm. first. And I am not alone. There is another who knows. Hmm, Paul Knowles. But go on, what happened next? I told you. Vorelli would hypnotize us. Mm. Make me do foolish things. <laughs> he made Hugo live in incredible ways. Stick a dagger into him here to his breast. Then, one night... He leaned forward. This time, you go. You're going to die. At that point, there were some warning signs. <laughs> well, you can see the raw talent even back then. Yeah, huh? No kidding. Now, we have a Hugo in the oven already. Let's see how that's doing. Uh, what did I forget? Oh, oh yeah, kill him. That's it. Kill him. See, that back there is why men shouldn't wear leggings. Ooh, yeah. He is my slave. He will feel nothing. So it's okay if I kill him? That is the power of hypnotism. Look, you guys, I'm from next door. Could you keep it down? No. Oh, jeez. I can't follow up on that. I'm dead. Aliens again. And Snuff Cabaret is born. Hugo, the other white meat. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Siegfried and Gein. <laughs> oh, crap. Now I'm going to have to juggle. Never before had he felt it. But this time, every time, many times before, Hugo felt nothing. Yeah, like me. This time, Hugo felt the blood come. A little hard to believe. <laughs> Tell your own story then. Nobody believes. Nobody. The police. Nobody. Well, hang on, I'll see what's taking our salad so long. Hank, come here. Your pantyhose are dry. They could not believe Hank's either. 
Oh, and I'm sorry my living room is so cramped. Do you want me, Mercedes? Hans, here he is. He will tell you. Mm. These are reporters. They want to know about Forelli. Hi, Hans. Tell them. Go on. Tell them about the dummy. Hans. <laughs> well, there isn't much I can say. I was a cleaner at the time. I was not even on the stage when it happened. I was in Austria. I was in Borelli's room. <laughs> Everybody was out, so I could clean up the room. I did not see, but I heard. Then the dagger oh. plunged into Hugo. Oh! I saw the puppet. I was much cuter then, by the way. I ran. Then the police. Oh, huh. Confusion. The hearing. Did you both testify at the hearing? Yeah, they ask questions. I tell them they laugh or me crazy. He willingly took the risk. Accident. He lived for three months after the accident. In a hospital, like a vegetable. He did not move for three months. Shots lay there and looked at the ceiling. He died. He died. Did he live? Look, gentlemen, I don't want to push you out, but uh, Mercedes has some business to attend to. The customers come here, you know. So if oh, you do, no. perhaps yes. you would give us a hundred marks for the information. Wow. Well, we lose more than that in time already. Hey, Bobby, take me right back to that airport. Well, hi, I'll see you later. <laughs> E.M. Forster's room with a wig. Dog's got my hand. Ow! Not so red hot nurses. Well, she didn't finish her stewed tripe in her curdled pork butt, but. We have a permit to film in the hallway, and damn it, we're gonna use it. Uh, thank you for the homeschooling and card tricks, Rally. Perhaps you shouldn't stay too long. I think. Of course. Yeah. I understand. Well, you're her evil nemesis. But, but, but have fun, you kids. Now, for a rummy bit of fun. Ah, my other hand, let go. Ow, oh, jeez. Ah. Darling, I'm in a wonderful mood today. Oh, you gave me the soul of that dog, didn't you? I skipped and sang all the way over here. Tell your aunt and uncle. Hi for me. That you love me. I love you. I love you. And you will tell Mark that you are going to marry me. Mark, you're going to marry him. I'm going to marry you. I must go now. But when I call you, you will come. Remember, when I call, you will come. You know, he's really just a darker version of those dentists that put people under than grope them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> them. Last mime at school after it's let out for the summer. Ooh, it's Chrissy Hind. Well, time to bury the dog. Well, the skunk cabbage is coming up good. Mmm, the crabgrass couldn't look better. Mm. Oh, and the stinking corpse flowers are beautiful. <laughs> Hell of a mess this morning. Hey, I'm bored. You got any games? Parcheesi, Monopoly, or... Oh, hi, boat anchor. I mean, uh, honey. Hello. Hi. How are you? It's good to see you. You're looking much better. Thank you. The doctor took me off the drugs. Mm. Mark, I... Oh, I've got to talk to you. Mm. Hugo and I are engaged. I'm going away with Varelli. Mm. I'm in love with him. You what? I'm in love with him. Look familiar, Mike. Girls leaving you for ventriloquists. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Oh, How can I explain? It happened the night he stayed here. 
just don't know what to say. First Robert Denby, and now you. Oh. Well, I have some muffins in the oven. Well, I'm gonna go get a cheesy accent and crepe beard and make her fall in love with me. No, that was easy. It was fun, in fact. Hey, look up there. He flies Aunt B Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be flying at a cruising altitude of 30,000 feet. We may experience some turbulence. Oh, Andy. Hey, hey, Varelli, I had this corner all feng shui. Uh, Varelli, did you wear my yellow sweater? Because I found it all pitted out. Just, just don't wear my stuff, okay? Maybe it's my new girlfriend or something, but I feel great these days. I just want to sing. <laughs> Those pictures, where'd they come from? Has he been in showbiz since 1830? <laughs> well, Hugo, tonight we fly to Spain. Hmm. And there, the very wealthy and beautiful Miss Marion Horn will become my bride. I want you to be my best man. Delicious thought. Hmm? We'll give our last performance tonight and be on our way. All four of us. Hmm? You, Hugo. Mm -hmm. My bride to be, mm -hmm. my ugly little wooden lady. But hey, I like your mom. And then, <laughs> after a few months, my transfer is complete. My beautiful young wife will die, leaving me all her money. And you, an ugly little wooden companion. Yeah. <laughs> but then, you're ugly too, aren't you? Well, I, I think I do all right with what I have. It's quarter to three. No one in the place but you and Romy me. I'm the same again. Make it a Samuel Stockbottom double wheat cranberry lambic. Thanks. <laughs> hey, hey, look on the window back there. It says midgets. You know, what is that, a menu item? <laughs> as long as they're boiled and come with chips, sure. <laughs> hey, could you uh, flip on Monday Night Cricket, please? <laughs> Lost my girlfriend. Had a fight with cigarettes. Man, I miss those cigarettes. Oh, I'm a bloody fool. Hmm? Yeah, but the company do a lot of unnecessary expense for an article about a charlatan. Hmm. A third rate phony. Uh, sir, we were in this booth. Uh... The only woman I ever cared about falls in love with him. They'll fire me after this fiasco. They're as crazy as I am. In fact, I'll just do it myself. Me, you're fired. Purple. Deep Leaning. Sleep. It was. Gee. It, it is me, isn't it? Oh. Yuck. Do you, chatty Cathy, take Hugo to be your lawfully wedded doll to pledge and behold, to finish and to end us? Oh, Mike. <laughs> Boss, can you at least change the paper before you put her in here? Hugo. You? You must behave when we give our last performance. You've been getting out of control much too often. You've been eating way too much ham lately. <laughs> You've been in your little wooden body so long you've become an individual again. Yeah, look at me. I'm a real threat to you. <laughs> no, it's much better over here. Yeah. I think I must teach you a little lesson. I'm going to teach you to fetch. You're free to go. Here's a little suit and a little hundred dollar pill. People for the ethical treatment of puppets, hello? I am disciplining my puppet. <laughs> ah, dear Grace. Annika, Annika. I thought you wanted me, you know. Not now, dear. I have a few things to clear up with the manager before I leave. I shall come to your room as soon as I'm through with him. I just got to get something out of the hamper here, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks. Hugo. I'm your master. 
Get back in your cage or I will destroy you. Now we oh, for the love of God. This has to be stressful, but Hugo's more chipper than ever. Oh. Looks like Burgess Meredith all of a sudden. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a wooden chair, and all finished wooden products are my brethren, and they will protect me. Thomas Peter Varelli, you be nice to your toys. Uh, uh, okay, okay, you are, you are gonna get it so... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Come here! Come here! You know, you guys, I just remembered I gave a devil doll to my niece once. Uh-oh. Well, this is gonna make tonight's show pretty tense. Don't ask me. Severelli, I'm pretty strong. I've been doing push-ups in my cage. Haha, <laughs> I don't even have a trachea. Memories light the corners of my mind. Misty golden. Kennel, Hugo. Kennel! Man, I gotta get that training collar for him. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our story. A cautionary tale, to be sure, but, uh... Hmm. So is he being Martinized? Or... Well, I think it's the Shroud of Varelli. <laughs> what the... You know, where did that come from? I mean, what, what was that about? Next time, we're just gonna lease a dummy. It's such a headache to own. Hope Beanie Babies don't get this kind of power. Yeah, I'm sweaty because I was choking a puppet. No, no, wait. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, Mr. English. Hmm? Varelli is now in the wooden doll. Uh, actually, I just left my hat in here. <laughs> I am his master. The Who's tables master? are turned. Oh? You need have no fear for Marianne. She yeah. is sleeping peacefully. When I wake her, she will be her normal self. What? Mr. English. Get me out of here. <laughs> I am the great Varelli. Uh -huh. He can't do this to me. It's really Please. A, really Mr. ironic, huh? Yeah. Don't wow. let him do it. Don't I'll you do think? anything you say. Get me out of here. I'll do anything you say. Uh -huh. Please. I am the great, great Varelli. Great Varelli, right. On the other hand, it's kind of a cute little body, you know, just comb his hair. Hugo the Dummy was arraigned in Superior Court, County of Los Angeles. In a moment, the results of that trial. You know, I, I gotta admit, th this really does cut into my deep love of ventriloquy. Yep. Uh, Why don't you give us ham, though, Mike? You're an ugly little dummy, aren't you, Maiko? An ugly, smelly, horrible little dummy stuffed with sawdust. A dummy who will never have ham. Certainly not unless he gets it himself. A dummy who will never drink wine. Bro. Yes, a horrible, smelly, ugly, Bro. stupid... Bro, what's, what's ridiculous... going on? Why, why am I in a cage? Why, why am I dressed like Hugo? Not only can't you have ham, you can't have any luncheon meats. Not Bologna or Thuringia, not even Cotto Salami. Why? Because luncheon meats make the sawdust in your stomach explode. Grow! What? what? Oh, now, now this is really too much. You know, I fall asleep, so you, you build a cage around me, and, and then you dress me up as Hugo the Devil Doll, and, and you whisper odd, irrelevant taunts oh, at me. What? Too what much. What is wrong with that? Mike, I feel like I can't do anything today, and you are all over me. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Well, now that my soul's in this toaster strudel, Say. and I've got these killer gams, I'm Brrr. ready to be your leggy assistant. Oh, <laughs> no, no, look at this. Look. What? Boy, Mike, you know, what is wrong with that? You can't be serious. A, a Perlo, take me away. You know, ridiculous. It is your problem at this point, Nelson, not mine. Good luck. I'm gonna be physically ill. Ooh, like you got any right to bellyache, Smelson. I gotta watch some idiot mad goth get eaten by a lion and put up with this Etruscan windbag here. Citizens, as you may notice, I'm wearing pants. Thanks to the gods. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming here to Lesser God Day at the Coliseum. <laughs> now, before our mad goth doth his enemies vanquish, I think it both meet and right that we recognize a few faces in the crowd. Uh, Vulcan, thank you for gracing us with your presence. <laughs> Vulcan, 
Vulcan. And why don't you stand up, Bacchus? Bacchus, the god of wine. Okay, okay. <laughs> and now, some new faces to the lesser god crowd. I bring you Aperlo, the goddess of... You I'm the goddess of quit yapping and get on with it. <laughs> the, the, the goddess of brevity, a perlo. <laughs> and Brain Gaius, the god of... <laughs> what, 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 what? What are you god of? What, what, what? God of what? God, what god? What are you talking about? God, god, what, what god what, of? What, 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 no, I don't know. Use your imagination. The, the, the god! <laughs> Brain Gaius, the god. <laughs> and now, release the lions and bring on our beloved mad god. <laughs> Oh, those glasses. That smell. <laughs> that that red butt. Oh. It's Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> 